Hi, folks. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels and networks. So Mike Morales here in a gloomy, cloudy day in Southern California. That gentleman out there is Bryce Taylor uh, here in uh, sunny Austin, Texas. What's the weather like right now? Is it is it is it still is it clammy now? <laughs> no, it's now it's starting to get hot. So it's ninety two degrees. Wow. Um, little little overcast, but it's sunny, sunny and warm. Sunny and warm. Well, you know, uh, that that's okay. It's it's spring and summer right now. At least that's when we're when we're recording this. When you get to see it, yeah, in August. I'm not sure, yeah. um, folks. You are uh, what we're doing today is a really interesting tequila line. This is Sunbird, and they have this is the third of, of four flavors that they sent to us. This is the chili. Uh, what is it? Chili chili guajillo and cucumber. Guajillo and cucumber. Um, just having had cucumber, like with tequila, or like even in, in floating in your in a fresh glass of water, that's just really refreshing. You wouldn't think so because it, when you have them in a salad, it's almost like they're not. They're almost getting away in, in a salad for me. But when you when you add them to your water or you add them to your like tequila, I remember. Uh, one of my trips to, to Mexico, um, we ordered, uh, we were at this bar, it was an all, all male bar. And a, a lot of it, and this was in the Highlands, of, uh, I think Arandas, um, this was a while back, but so we're at the bar and the bartender is, is cutting up some fresh cucumber, tomatoes, and, and you know, he's, as he's serving you only Highlands tequilas in, the, in his back bar, right? All the guys, all the guys in the back room were shooting pool, playing dominoes, and they're all packing. Uh, it's like being in Texas. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I had uh, what he did was he actually hollowed out a cucumber and poured a blanco tequila in it, so you can you can sip it with you know with and, and you're literally infusing the cucumber into your blanco like siete leguas or something you know yeah and it's really good it's really refreshing so i'm kind of anxious to see what this translates to in a bottle right with with some guajillo chili which i don't remember ever having yeah i don't have a reference point for it but we'll yeah. i mean i've had i've had really good infused tequilas tanteo has a great wine mm. and it's all 80 proof so it, it's a it's an art to do that correctly. Um, we we nominated uh, you know Sunbird for Brand of Promise in their packaging, um, and and the first dragon fruit flavor infused. Um, I'm gonna pour mine in a Stasso Jarito that I, I normally use for mezcal, so got a wider mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the same. And let's see here. We just broke the seal on these two. I I, uh, I make sure I, I crack the cellophane before I go on camera because otherwise it's twenty minutes of Mike fighting with his cell. Yeah, it, it makes um, you. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, is it just me, or is there like a slight tinge? It's it's shiny, yeah. but it looks like it's got a little bit of an, a color to it. Yeah, just a little bit of a rose. Is that the chili, maybe? I mean, I guess it would have to be. Because cucumber doesn't have any, doesn't, doesn't really yeah. color. Yeah, I get just a slight, like, like that rose, like fuchsia. Yeah, it's very, very light, though. Yeah. And again, um, a lingering bubble. You got some great legs and tears. I mean, it's, well, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, ginger, the lemon ginger had some really good structure to it. It, it was, mm. was good to, you know, but it's not cloying. You notice that it doesn't stick to your palate like some of the other ones that use the, the artificial flavors where it just, the more you in, ingest, the right. more it coats your palate. Yeah, no, it naturally, you know, dissipated over time, like, you know, natural ingredients do. So yeah, it's got the same kind of, you know, legs and tears as the other ones. And and you know what? It's shiny. I mean, it's there's a there's a there's a rose color to it, but it's it's a it's also bright. You know, the yeah. blanco tequila. Of course, this all starts with the blanco tequila. Mm. Uh, again, it's 35 ABV, so it's not a full 80 proof. Right. 
Um, let's see what we get on the nose here. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I get I get the cucumber just right up front. Yeah. But a sweet cucumber. Cucumbers normally don't aren't sweet to me, like fresh cucumbers. But this yeah, is a either. sweet, sweet I'm cucumber. If, I'm wondering if it's playing with the guajillo chili. That's what I'm wondering if the the combination is 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 creating another aroma. Right. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Along with that cooked agave. Yeah, and I I did mention that when we did the lemon ginger, that was nice. I, I was getting more agave on the nose than we had with the dragon fruit. It was, yeah. it was non uh, uh, detectable, non perceivable. Or perceptible. Right. I'm not really getting agave in this either. No, just no. lots of cucumber, but it's a, like I say, a, like you said, a sweetness of mm -hmm. cucumber. You know, what Bryce said off camera, and, and I, and I'll, agree with you is that the nice thing is that these flavors are not complicated they're you know they're not complex but they're not supposed to be they are what they are mm -hmm. and and they're easy to discern um which means that they're going to be easier for you to use them as you however you want to really yeah i mean essentially what they're telling you that you're getting is is what comes across you know yeah Nothing wrong with that, you know. You know, if, right now everybody's screaming about truth and labeling and additives and all that stuff. And yeah. That's all individual to the brand owner. That's not something that, that's not even something that TTB is going to worry about. Because they yeah. have, the TTB has minimal information that they require in order for you to get a label approved in the United States. After right. that, it's up to the brand owner. So, you know, and that's what a lot of people don't understand is, you know, they it's not like it's different than when you deal with the FDA, you have mm -hmm. to have, you know, the nutritional, uh, some of the RTDs are that way, especially the organic ones. They got to have everything there, you know, because the FDA requires something different, but TTB. No. Yeah. Really. Yeah. You just have to have proof, you know, some other, some other things, but yeah, other than that, you can call it small batch. You can, you know, yeah. Yeah. Use you, those undefined terms, but yeah, it, you know, you can do, you can do the Tito's thing and say handcrafted until you get sued in California. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's all, it's all very, very, you know, and I thought maybe it would, uh, we're both using the wider mouth because we mm -hmm. knew this was going to be infused and it's the flavors are actually very prominent, the, the aromas and the flavors. Mm -hmm. So I wanted it to, to maybe open up a little bit more and have a little bit more of the mouth surface so that it would, you know, uh, give us a little bit different, um, see what we're getting differently. But I'm just ready to dive in. I'm, I'm yeah. this cucumber's calling my name, man. I'm, I'm back in the Highlands right now. <laughs> just, yeah. So here we go. We're gonna dive in. Okay, I'm guessing that's the chili coming across. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a very pleasant spiciness. It's a it's mm -hmm. a chili spiciness, but it's not, you know, three alarm. Um, no. it, it to me it was building. So I got sweetness right on the tip of the palate. And then as I, I let it sit on my palate for a little while before I, I like consume it. And uh and that I wouldn't even say a heat, but just kind of that, that spiciness, that influence was building to me. Um, but yeah, very pleasant. It's very sweet. It's clean. Um, I, I don't get a lot of the cucumber on the taste. I, I think right at the end, I do a little bit. I, I got it at the beginning, but yeah, then the, then the, then the guajillo took over mm. and, and, and like Bryce said, it's, it's a spiciness, but it's, it's capsaicin. It's the, right. it's like a, it's the oils that, that do that, you know, and, and if you, if you're, if you've got a, a palate for salsas and pico de gallos and especially homemade stuff with habaneros and and, and experience with with much hotter peppers you're familiar with that building you know the the oil building in and what happens with capsaicin the actual oil is it is it the agave reactivates the oil that stays on your palate 
So it, to me, this is really artful because to be able to do this much, to have the, 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 the capsaicin, the, the, the chili oil go, come through as well as the cucumber and still play nice with the agave, with the tequila, because this, this is hard to do, make no mistake. Yeah. And like I say, Tanteo does it really well at 80 proof. And they got, they have chipotle and jalapeno and, and uh, what was the other one that we had? They're, uh, uh, not cayenne. There, there are three flavors of, of peppers, outstanding, outstandingly well done. Uh, obviously a lot higher than this. This is, it's 35. Yeah. I'm, and I, I do get some agave on the palate as well. Um, it didn't come through on the nose for me, but I, I, I get it on that mid palate. You know, the sweetness is very reminiscent of that dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, is. Because it's got this tropical fruit, you know, you've got the cucumber, but it's playing with something tropical in there that I'm not sure what that is, other than maybe that's the reason why it's, it, but they're not saying that on the label. They're not right. saying that, 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 I think you're right. So it's not like a, a third ingredient. It's just the combination of the chili and the cucumber giving it that combined, that, that third flavor. Because <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I'm getting that too. There, that sweetness is there. It was natural flavors. I mean, they're, they're yeah. calling this is Blanco tequila. So it's not the Blanco with the dragon fruit, which wouldn't be such a bad thing, honestly. But, but they would say that. So far, they've been very upfront with everything they've been telling you. Uh, it's, a, it's just made it known 1438. It mm -hmm. is uh, obviously CRT certified. It is kosher. It is uh, keto friendly. Uh, gluten free. Uh, gluten free. You know, it's got all the all the certifications and qualifications. Um, what else is there to say, man? How would you? Okay, now, now I know you you do the cocktails like like a lot of the guys do, and that's why I always ask. I don't do cocktails. I'm I'm yeah you know, I'm very lazy. I, I'll probably put this you know like you did earlier in a splash of soda and a, you know you know a, a ice cube and boom you're done. You know what would you? Yeah. Do? Um, I'd probably play around with um, kind of doing more like an old fashioned, you know, still simple, really? keep, keep it on a big cube, but then add a little bit of, you know, bitters or a little, you know, a little bit of like an orange rind to it. I think picking the right bitters would be key. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Because yeah. there is with that chili, you do get a little bit of that warming sensation. And that's kind of what made me think that old fashioned. So still keep it a simple, simple cocktail. And in the old fashioned, I'm talking about, I mean, you know, not the sugar cube or anything. I mean, just, a, you know, just liquor over, a, you know, ice, throw a little bit of, uh, you know, bitters and, you know, orange rind on there. You know, would you even float a, a, a cucumber slice on this thing? Yeah, you definitely could. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's really totally different than what I remember that, or what I had in the Highlands, but it was kind of cool to be able to drink it out of a, out of a hollowed out cucumber. Yeah, I've seen people do that with the jalapenos too. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. But that's got to yeah. be. Actually, yeah. sure there's no seeds in it, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely clean it out, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's straightforward. Um, you know, it's honest advertising. You know, you, you get what they say you're getting. Yeah. Um, I like it. it. It's interesting. Yeah. You know, well, you know, I, I think, I think too, um, Bryce that we're David dark and, and I hope to have him on open bar here shortly. I think what he was going after is something, you know, that wasn't too high alcohol, but, mm. but enough of a, of, of a different recipes and creative enough to allow the consumer to also be creative or the guy behind the bar, either your bartender. Right. Um, and I think that's what he's accomplished because you, again, it's just, it's exactly what it is that you're getting. 
and that's what you have to work with. Yeah. So you can expand on it or you can just like, you know, throw Topo Chico on it with, a, you know, with some ice and call it good. Yeah. I was like, these would even good in like a frozen drink, I think. You know, you know? here's what I, I was going to warn people about. And I'm not sure how to, uh, when I talk to David, I'll, I'll find out. Um, the last bottle that I saw that had this kind of a, a matting on it like this, this is, and it's all hand blown. Uh, and I know Bryce remembers this bottle. Bryce, you probably have a bottle of Buscalores somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a purple bottle. It was sought after. Uh, the original uh, brand, the original importers and brand owners were, uh, I think, from San Antonio, if I'm not mistaken. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. And what had happened was that uh, they, uh, there were some customers, some people that were putting this bottle, their purple bottle, in the freezer. And, and that's all well and good. You're going to have it the way you want to have it, right? But when they pulled out the bottle from the freezer and poured themselves some, the paint would come off on their fingers. And so they had to find another way of, you know, another, another process in order to get that bottle painted so that when people who do put that in the fridge. So I'm not sure this is going to do the same thing, but I'd be real careful if you are going to put your, your tequila. This is, this is, for those of you who are listening to us on the podcast, it's a, it's a red matte bottle and the bottom is the bottom half of it is a, is a, a faded purple, um, beautifully done. It's quite well done. Uh, but you know, if you're going to stick yours in the freezer, be careful when you pull it out that you're be aware you could get a little bit of the, of the paint le leaching off on your hands. Uh, so don't, you know, don't wear white, <laughs> yeah. don't wipe your hands off on anything, but your blue jeans. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, and, and that was years ago, and I'm sure the, the painting process, the black, the matting process has, has been improved since then. Um, so not to say that that will happen to you, but just in case, don't be alarmed. It could happen, you know. Um, but other than that, I, I'm just going to go say it. It's just a Brand of Promise nominee in this infused category. It's, it's well done. It's exactly what it's telling you that you're getting. You know, no more, no less. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you're getting less alcohol, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, just out of curiosity, would you would you chase this? Would you pour, uh, if you made a cocktail, would you pour a little bit extra tequila in it? I mean, yeah, you, you could. I mean, there is an RTD that I won't name, but that, that I do that with. Um, and so, <laughs> you know, you, you definitely could. You know, I, I like... Um, I like a, a strong spirit. So yeah, I don't think there'd be anything wrong with that. No, but I tell you what, this has got a, it's got, Oh, by the way, the finish, it's got a nice finish to it too. Mm -hmm. You know, even for 35 ABV, I'm still getting a nice, decent, warm fuzzy. And that's gotta be, you know, with the ginger lemon, if that's the ginger finish you're getting. And then mm -hmm. with this one, this is that, that Guajillo chili. And I, I'm not, I, I'm going to have to find some Guajillo chili just to, just to be able to taste that. And all of these, uh, according to their information, if you saw the previous review, we looked at their, their POS or sell sheet, point of sale, and all this stuff, all the ingredients are being sourced in Mexico. So mm -hmm. it's Guajillo chili from Mexico, it's ginger from Mexico, uh, obviously tequila from 1438, that's uh, Destiladora del Valle, which is a big maquiladora that makes a lot of, a lot of really good brands come out of there. Uh, Siempre is one of them that uh, we've had before. I think there's several other ones, uh, Bryce, you, you and I've had. It's, uh, it's gaining in popularity. There's a lot of new brands that are being made there, like Blowfish, uh, Dos Hermanos is another one that's coming out of there. So anyway, um, that's our take on Sunburn. Not, not much else to say, but it's everything. It's everything yeah. you want in a, it, it's like a cocktail in a bottle. And, and yeah. I would say, do we, did we ever get a price point on any of these? Do you know offhand? I don't remember offhand. Okay. I, think it was, I remember it was reasonable, but I can't remember what it was. I, I wasn't surprised by it. Yeah, it's it, somewhere between that sweet spot of, you know, 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah, because I can find them locally. So they're they're definitely in Texas. Well, yeah, they're they're in Austin, if I'm not mistaken. Aren't they based yeah. in Austin? Yeah. And, and this is one of their, I think, between the time that you and I did the Dragon Fruit Review and now... They went ahead and entered the San Francisco World Spirits, and they won a, a, some awards. Is San Francisco or was it one of the other ones? I think it was. Uh, yeah, I can't recall. I thought it was another one, but yeah. 
Okay. They won a couple awards. Yeah, they've become, uh, you know, they, they've gotten some hardware, aside from ours, but uh, yeah. uh, we gave them the Brand of Promise nominee award and, and, and uh, you know, for, for being nominated in this category. Go find it. If you're having it uh, and, and you're watching us on YouTube, leave us a comment. Tell us what you're doing with it. Give us a recipe. Send us yeah. a recipe. That would be really cool. What are you doing with the flavors? Um, and, and, you know, follow us on YouTube. Give us a like. Hit the notification bell. The like helps us on the algorithm. Follow Bryce. Bryce, what's your what's your handle again on Instagram? On uh, Instagram, Facebook, it's Austin Tequila Connoisseurs. Okay. And, and uh, yeah, he's constantly putting out some great material and some really good tastings uh, on his own. Probably not flavored tequilas, but that's okay because <laughs> that's what we're here for. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but anyway, that's our take. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. And whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely. <laughs>